Okay, good morning. So basically today I want to make a corset top bodice thing um, to layer over things and be warm and like nice. Um, so how I got to this pattern right here is I used the top of this dress pattern. I lowered the neckline. Um, I removed the darts out of it. I did some like dart moving and tweaking and stuff. So there's no darts now. I'm going to cut the back on the center fold and it'll just lace up in the front. And the fabric I'm going to use is this really thick orange. I think it's supposed to like mimic wool or something, but I don't think it's made of wool. I think it's like a polyester, but I think it's like really nice and thick and I think it'll be good for a project like this and it should do fine with one layer because it's kind of thick and sturdy so I think it should be pretty quick easy make and look very cute and later on I think I'll make a black chemise to wear underneath it and I think that would be really cute like a really cute black and orange it'll probably end up looking a little Halloweeny but I think it'll be super cute. So I'll have a black chemise and then later we might make some type of overskirt because the chemise is going to be see-through. Because I have black sheer cotton lawn, I think. And that's what I think I'll use the fabric for the chemise. So I will need a skirt that makes it not see-through, but I think it'll be a cute look. It's really cold. It's been snowing on the mountains nearby, so I think this would be nice and cozy warm made out of this thick orange fabric that I got. I got this a couple years ago, and I made an Inwardian skirt, which I still have, but I did sit in the grass with it, and a bunch of things got stuck in it, so occasionally I'll like take it out and pull little bits of grass and weeds and stuff off of it, but... I don't know if I'll ever get it free of that because the weed's just kind of stuck in it. I mean, there's pieces of thread stuck on it now. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Anyways, this is what I'm going to work on today. Okay, so my hand is hurting from cutting this out because this fabric is so thick, but I finally finished cutting all of the pieces out. I don't know if I'll add any boning because the fabric is so thick. If I do, it would just be at the center front, I think. Um, and I would have to base like some type of boning channel on the inside, which I can do because I could just catch the inside of this thick fabric and I think it would be fine, but... I might see if I can do it without any type of boning just because the fabric is really thick. But I do have everything cut out. Now I'm going to pin it together. Also, if you look at the fabric, both sides are slightly different. This side has kind of more of a textured look. And this is a little bit more smooth. I really like the textured look. It looks a bit more rustic. So I think I want this to be the outside.
right, good morning. It is now Monday. I had made the pattern, cut out the pieces, and pinned them together during the weekend, but it is Monday now, and I have my sewing machine out and set up, and I'm going to start sewing these seams together. All right, so before I attach the shoulder seams, I just sewed all of the side seam areas, all the pieces together, but I want to iron all of these seams flat and open like this because the fabric is so thick that if I were just to have one side or another, it would be creating a really thick point because this fabric is so thick just by itself. So I have my iron heating up and now I'm going to iron all of these seams open. Okay, so I did iron the seams, but they're not staying as flat as I'd like them to. So what I think I will do is I'll go and like sew the edges down. I'll baste them down flat. And I can do this easily without it showing on the other side because the fabric is thick. So I can just catch a little bit of it as I sew the seams, or like baste them open. Um, so that is one thing I will be doing, but I'm going to... I do want to see if this will fit. Maybe I'll sew the armholes closed now, and then I'll test the fit to make sure I don't need to adjust the seams at all before I baste them all open because it would really suck if I basted all of the seams open <laughs> and then um, I needed to adjust something and I'd have to rip it out. <laughs> Okay, so I do want there be, to be a little bit of a gap. So I think this fits perfectly as it is, honestly. But because I want there to be a little bit of a gap, um, there needs to be some negative ease. Another thing I'm going to do is widen this area, the neckline. And I need to, I'm going to cut off some of this excess here that doesn't need to be here um and i think then we have like a really good bodice it looks really good i like it okay so i'm going to cut out the neckline cut the strap i can't think of words right now <laughs> to make this thinner so it's not going over my shoulder i want it up and um yeah, I might just tighten it a little bit at the side seam, I think. Although, it fits really nice there. I wonder, maybe when I just, maybe if I just widen the neckline and then I just cut a little bit of the center front, maybe that'll actually work better. Anyways, it's looking good so far.
All right, so let's try this again. I cut away some of the strap here. I cut this wider and then in more. Um, okay, so I need to cut a lot away from the armhole area here, I think. Do I have to put a dart in here? I might have to put a dart in here actually to get that to fit right. Or I can't take it out from there, huh? Hmm. I might need to put a dart here. I think that might be the only way to make it fit. So I think the only fit issue I really have right now is a start area. I might cut away more here and just see how it looks, but there's definitely a lot of excess here. Alrighty then. Okay, so I ended up putting darts in the side bust area here because I think that's the only way I'm going to get that to sit flat over my bust since there was excess in the armhole. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is try it on and see how it looks now. Okay, I don't like how the bust dart looks over here. I'm gonna take out the dart and I'm gonna shorten the sleeves and see if that helps. <laughs> Okay, so I've been tweaking the pattern here and there. I took in the side seam a bit, and then I took in the straps more, and I think I took out enough of the excess fabric that was in the armhole area that I'm happy with it. So now I will be basting all of the seams open like this so that it lies flat, and I'll be doing that by hand. Okay, so this bodice is turning out so cute. Um, I've been sewing down the seams by hand and I tucked in all of the edges and sewed that down by hand. I just love how like rustic and homemade it looks. Um, but this is what the inside looks like. I've almost done all of the edges. I just finished this armhole and now I'm on the last armhole. So I'm gonna tuck that in and sew that down by hand as well. Then I need to make um, eyelet holes. I'll make those by hand and then lace it up.
Okay, so I really love how this bodice turned out. I would tweak a couple things. I would make the bodice a little bit longer at the bottom and then I think I want to make the neckline lower and widen the neckline just a little bit. I do have some black linen that I kind of want to make into one of these as well. Anyways, I hope you like this video. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a good day and if you like this video, please like and subscribe because it really does help my channel. Okay, bye!